Hey, what's up, guys? My name's Ned, and welcome back to Dot Geek, formerly Donkey Geek. Um, um, it's been a while since I upload the uh, recent video. So, uh, in this video, I'm gonna be doing a tutorial for you guys. Um, I'm, I'm gonna be uh, showing it to you on how to convert a regular October CMS team to into like a single page application using just a simple uh, like only a few bits of code and it doesn't uh, changes literally the whole entire thing um, so yeah uh, we'll be using uh, I'm gonna show to you uh, how it works and how it behaves uh, by the way yeah all right we're gonna be using my theme I'm gonna develop right now. It's called Rapid Rider. It's still in pre-release. It's still in uh, development. Uh, you can download right now if you want and just hack it. Whatever. It's my first release. It's in 0.1.1. Uh, yeah. It in, it features a single page application thingy um, way of, of navigating. So here's an example. We have uh, a working site, and then uh, try to let's try to click the second post, the recent post. You can see there's a loading bar on the top. We're gonna be include that later on. Um, yeah. There's nothing to reload against, just the data itself. It just refreshes. And you can go to categories. Uh, as far as I know, uh, as far as I know, the search box the search box uh, is still not yet working at all. So uh, say post this is reloads like that. So uh, yeah, only the links and stuff will still be working on since uh, we're gonna be I'll, I'll teach you the basics only uh, putting the most important stuff like putting loading bar and stuff okay so uh, let's get started gonna be needing this very little library that can able to uh, convert into a single page applicant application is called Sana JS uh, it's very easy you but a blazing fast, it really is a blazing fast um, single page application engine. So, unlike Angular, uh, Ember, and stuff, it's just really the single page, it's just the, the very basic of all this, the single page application. The the part you want, and not the whole thing. Um, it's all, it also has uh, the ability to to um, go back and previous and um, it's also SEO friendly too so if you're what if you're really wanting to put your site on the Google it doesn't matter since it's SEO friendly okay so first of all let's download this one uh, yeah we've activated that uh, okay once we download that one, um, okay, we will we will not wait anymore since I have downloaded one. Uh, okay, okay. So uh, let's extract. First of all, let's extract only the build folder thing, the demidified one. Let's go to assets, JS, and then. Uh, Let's put it here. There you go. Is there? I know it's pretty optional, but we're, we're gonna be uh, including the style sheet of it. You're putting the style sheet of it right here. If you want the loading bar and stuff, you can. Uh, you just import the standard CSS and. You're good to go. 
It also has a fading animation if you want to. So uh, let's close this one. Uh, okay. Let's go. Okay, so we're now at the default layout. Uh, okay. Let's import the the Sena libraries first. Okay, so let's we run sublime text and um, should duplicate the the app.css path so, to Senna and then uh, it goes to the top, uh, very bottom of it and uh, let's put up the very top say Senna mean dot js and now let's put this remove this js this and uh, this part since we, we put the library into the js folder okay so let's save this first and uh, let's initialize it okay so uh, let's just initialize the Senna to uh, data attribute since that's the very very easiest part of it and the JavaScript is very very um, time consuming for our tutorial to di to this video. I'm not saying today because I'm recording it tonight and this night. Okay, so let's go to the body and then initialize it through by typing data center on it. Save and then uh, let's go to the dynamic content here so uh, let's go to page content and say uh, this is the wrapper wrap wrap it this is the wrapper um, this is the wrapper let's put the an ID not necessarily an ID since just following the docs of it ID content and then let's put this as uh, the placement for uh, refreshing data and stuff so is it data Senna surface and then we will create another one uh, in order for it to work let's put it div ID then the ID we put earlier in the top of it the parent of it content then this is important this is very important this is uh, let's put we should put a prefix on after the ID net say default that and then uh, just save now let's uh, reload the theme again there you go and send host number two there you go it works very very works it really works now let's go to uh, let's put let's make let's put the data um, loading bar the loaded the loading bar that indicates that the website is really working okay so let's put first the loading bar the putting on the very top before uh, after body is a Senna loading bar since Senna ships with uh, st default style for a loading bar if save that then the very last thing to is we put a fade animation I'm putting Senna transition fade and the content 
the we put earlier the surface will have a fade effect refresh so uh, let's reload again post number two there is the loading bar wait a minute there's something wrong in here oh let's let's refer to the Senna style sheet There we go. Uh, <laughs> I apologize for the mistake, and we put the the transition into the wrapper of the content on it. So yeah, that's the very basic of the Senna JS. So uh, if you if you like, uh, if you want to like disable the the scrolling update while uh, navigating to the another post that's there's a few of that there's so many there's so many about that you can change you can alter the history of it that's very cool uh, with uh, there's many many cool things you can adjust with Senna experiment hope you guys like comment subscribe and goodbye guys